Here we have a hot lock. Let's clean it up a bit. First, we need to select the hot shape. Click on select subject and then it will load a little bit. Fix the selection with the lasso tool. Remember to toggle between add and remove selection or make use of the hotkeys. The Alt key for remove and Shift key for add selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to create new layer from your selection. Go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. Since it is a rusty color, we will lighten the red and yellow sliders, just enough to blend in and enhance the metallic shine. Go to Image, Adjustments, color balance. As you can see the hot shape is too grey. We need to make it blend in with the rest of the lock. So we will add just a hint of color. I will add a hint of red and a hint of yellow. That should do the trick. If you feel like it, just for fun, Change the lock color by holding Ctrl or Command and click on the hard layer image to create a selection. Remove the whole shape from the selection with the quick selection tool. Create a new layer by clicking this plus button below your layers panel. Change blending mode to overlay. Choose a color and fill your selection with the paint bucket tool. And add a star for extra shine. Go to image, adjustments, black and white, brighten the yellow and done. Let's make this rusty kettle look as good as new. Hold Ctrl Command and click on the rusty kettle layer image to create a selection. Remove the handles from the selection with the lasso tool. Okay. Image, Adjustments, Black and White. Move the red and yellow sliders to blend in the rust, but not too much or there will be white spots. With your lasso tool, click on Remove from Selection. Keep only the remaining rust selected. Find your patch tool, you can find it here. Drag your selection up until all the rust is gone. Find your spot healing brush tool. Hold Ctrl or Command and click on the rusty kettle lay image to create a selection. Click on the spots that are very rough but not all of them, because it will not look realistic if it's too perfect. Let's change the color just a bit, so it looks more natural. Go to image, 
adjustments, color balance, just a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. And done. This rusty door needs a little bit of TLC. Select the metal area with the quick selection tool. Add and remove your selection as needed. For the straight edges, use the polygonal lasso tool. Create a new layer and fill with any color. This will be your door shape layer. Go to image adjustments black and white. Remove the rusty marks with the red and yellow sliders. Let's restore some of the color to give it some depth. Go to Image Adjustments Color Balance A little bit of yellow and a little bit of red Remove some of the marks but not all to keep it as realistic as possible 